All right, a couple months ago, I did a video or two on Clip and why I thought it sucked as an investment. This is a follow-up. <clears throat> I still think it sucks. I'm gonna take you through the math. I'm gonna show you why. And I don't know why the hell people are investing in this, but I see this all over YouTube. The people are going into Clip. They love Clip for blah, blah, blah reasons. And I'm gonna show you why I think it absolutely sucks and why it's a dumb idea. Okay, so we're looking at the, the year-to-date chart of a Clip price. And you can see that we've dropped in value about 34%. It's lost 34% of its value since the beginning of the year. Now, okay, that's part of the total return, right? Now, you, it also has a 57% yield. So you could, you could argue, it's like, well, it's still ahead of the game, about 24% uh, or 23%. Uh, because, you know, even though you had a 34% drop, you had a 57% dividend come in. So you're still ahead of the game, 23%. Well, true, if you're in a tax-free Roth IRA, that's when it makes sense. But again, 23% is not that high. I don't know why people really go into this that much. Unless, you know, a, a lot of people seem to they get into this because they want something that pays in a different week than the yield max funds, for example. And to that, I would say you need to figure out your budgeting problem. And like, that's what it is. It's a budgeting problem. You need to figure out how to basically get, you know, you should have no problem getting paid once a month and then just dipping up the money over four weeks. It, it's not that hard to do, but whatever. Okay, so, so we talked about if you're in a Roth IRA, you're ahead of the game by 23%. Okay, it's different if you're in a taxable account and everybody's tax rate is gonna determine how well they do. I'll give you an example of mine, an extreme example. I'm the top tax rate, 37% federal, 8% state, so 45% effective. So my dividends are taxed at that rate. So 57% uh, dividends, I really only get to keep about 30 of them. So the share price dropped 34% and then I got 30% back in after-tax dividends. Well, I'm still underwater by 4%. So if I were to have invested money at the beginning of the year, I'd be underwater 4%. And that's like, that's my money has done nothing. Not only has it done nothing, but it's lost value. And I have a total return that is negative. This is why the Clip is such a BS investment, in my opinion. And I just have to put this out there because I see a lot of people investing in clip they like it i don't fucking know why because it just it does not make sense to me it's like invest in something else for christ's sake it's like do something do something where your money does not lose value and your money actually gives you a return uh, in, in comparison to clip because clip is not the vehicle for doing this and um I think I remember this correctly. A large portion of their distributions come from return of capital. Not not money that's earned, but return of capital. And that means when you hand them a stack of $100 bills, part of the time when they are giving you a distribution, they're just handing you back some of the cash that you gave them, which is not, that's not what you want. Like that's not, your money isn't working for you. Your money's just coming back to you. It's not, it's not doing anything for you. And that's probably a, a good part of the reason why we have huge, huge nav erosion here. This is not This is not like an oscillator. Their stock chart is not an oscillator. It is basically a race to zero. And that's that's where it's going. You know, it's, it's only going down. You can't, nobody can tell me, they, nobody can point at the clip stock chart and tell me that it's gonna fucking get better because it's not. It's like, this is like indicative of Chinese made shit right here. It's just cheap Chinese shit that you buy that breaks. That's what Clip is, cheap Chinese shit. And it's like, this is, it's not a good investment, but whatever. So I just want to go on record. It's like, I warned people about Clip. I was in Clip for a short period of time because I'm like, ah, oh, everybody's getting into Clip. This thing's got to be great. And then I learned about it. And I'm like, holy shit, I need to get out of Clip. But I just wanted to put this out there as a warning that anybody who's thinking about getting into Clip might want to consider putting your money elsewhere. Not financial advice. You can do whatever the hell you want. It's your money. But uh, I think it's a bad idea. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.